something that like being locked up that you learn like out here in the regular world may be normal but being locked up is like that's a no-no you can't do that what are some things that you experience or learn that shit was difficult for me man uh i say man i'm just like still like a little institutionalized like mm. i'm not an emotional nigga i'm not sensitive like my whole thing is when I say something, and, and I'm trying to reason because I know my attitude and I know the kind of seriousness I'm gonna take it to. So once I say something, I'm like, "Yo, fam, look, don't do this. You know what I mean, I ain't that shit gonna go somewhere else." And a nigga not respecting that, that's what I'm afraid of. You feel what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. it's like you, you you jeopardize everything. Just to prove a point to a nigga that don't even feel like really he's disrespecting you. Mm -hmm. So now I gotta think for me, I gotta think for him, because at the end of the day, when you walk away from a situation, you a bitch on the street. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? When you when a nigga be like, yo, fam, you doing too much joking on Facebook, bro. Like I'm all for the joking shit, but you trolling me too much. I tried to battle you, you didn't want to battle. What type of time you on? Chill out, bro. I ain't with that shit. Man, fuck you. You can't tell me what to say. That's normal. Mm. Penitentiary, you're going to die, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. So it's just like a lot of stuff, even at work, like certain shit, your supervisor might be like, man, just goddamn clean the shit up. You feel what I'm saying? You're like, yo, man, you tripping, bro. You feel what I'm saying? You got to bite that bullet realistically because in the real world, this is normal mm. for your supervisor to talk crazy to you. But when you got that serious penitentiary mentality, it's like, I don't give a fuck who you is. I done seen niggas ready to fight over a stamp, bro. Mm. Man, this nigga don't got my stamp, bro. I'm going to pop on this nigga. You're like, bro, i give you a stamp, bro. It ain't about the stamp. It's the principles. Bro, what you mean, bro? Like, everything, I'm telling you, man, everything is serious, bro. You feel what I'm saying? So, suck my dick. Out here in the world, a nigga might be like, fuck you, suck my dick. And then don't nobody die. Mm. Don't nobody get hurt. Penitentiary, unless you're dealing with like a super pussy ass nigga, bro. Niggas, even, I can't even see, I just can't see, you know what I mean? Like, bro, niggas ain't letting you talk to him like that, bro. You will see a nigga get his ass whipped before he sit there and take that on the chin. It's like probably, if, it's a few niggas that let you talk crazy, get smacked up, get their shit took, all them type niggas. You know, that's everywhere. Yeah. But I'm just more like the average nigga is not going for that, bro. You're going to have to fuck him up. Hmm. So it's just like, shit just different out here, man. This shit way different now, so. Have you have you experienced this, like, when you, just even right now, like, on Facebook, you, you actually experience these things from, you know, maybe people you don't know or people you do know? Yeah, man, that's why you experience it, because niggas don't know. Hmm. If a person genuinely knew me, they're not going to talk to me like that. You feel what I'm saying? They're going to have a respect for me because they're going to know it's, it's like certain shit you don't want to even, you don't even want to get, it's not about being scared. And that's the main thing with battle rappers and young niggas. Anything that shows a sign of respect is like pussy shit. If I know you the kind of nigga that will sit outside my mama's house and shoot her shit up, it don't make me a bitch to fucking apologize to you. You could be a cold bitch ass nigga that I know physically can't do nothing with me and I would still apologize to you. But then when you apologize to a nigga and be like, yo, I was dead wrong, my fault, bro, I shouldn't even said that. A nigga take that ass, oh yeah, bitch ass nigga don't want no smoke. When the whole time you just trying to show him respect. Same respect you would want him to show you in a situation where it was a misunderstanding and you was dead wrong. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So that's where the fucking, I don't know if niggas pride too big, or if niggas just been misled, it ain't no real niggas, no OGs out here giving niggas the game. But when you try to be respectful and polite and understanding and have consideration for the next man, you a cold bitch. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? And, and, and that's that's that. It's it's hard. It's hard to maneuver through that shit, man. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. Cause the whole time I'm trying to show you respect, and you genuinely trying to violate me. Then if I punch you in the mouth. I'm, I've been locked up too long, or it's just battle rap, or whatever. You feel me? It's, it's like, so it's, that's just a hell of an adjustment to me. Because I think in different ages, 
some people they came you know they younger so they used to the internet era and then there's some people that's older that they still play by the rules before the internet when you talk about the problems that you have dealing with that situation do you think it comes from the younger people or the older people is it mixed in or what it's like a mixture, man, because nowadays the, the average older nigga is influenced by a dumbass young nigga. So it's like, it's like a mixture, man. It's like, I see celebrities do it. I see Meek Mill do it all the time. He just sit and argue with a female on Twitter. Like, he my age. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, you can't fucking... You just got to let people do them. You can't, like, be, like, too critical of that situation because I ain't gonna front. Some of these battle rap niggas can get you out your square until you get the type and you got to check yourself, like, man, I done wrote paragraphs, man, and then deleted them shit. Like, I'm tripping. Like, I ain't no internet nigga. I ain't finna argue with this nigga, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, they get you there, though. You be like, man, what the fuck this nigga? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That shit crazy. Nigga called me a little nigga the other day on the internet. I was down. I was hot at first, and I'm like, oh, that's battle rap chill time. You know, he said this little nigga time. I'm like, little nigga, my daughter in the tenth grade, cuz. I pay fifteen thirty five every month in rent, cuz. My kids got everything you could. You know, I start running down. I'm like, yo, what you mean, little nigga, bro? Like. When I was 15, when you haven't experienced none of the things that I witnessed at the age of 17, cuz, like, what are we, chill, bro, like, but it's battle rap, so that's what I'm saying, I'd be so quick to just jump off the hinges when the whole time, he ain't, he just trolling me, bro, he just talking shit, you feel what I'm saying, so that shit be, it's, 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 it's a mental thing, you just gotta get in the mentality of, yo, my PO gonna be a bitch, my fucking, Boss gonna be a dickhead. Bro, if I can't handle it, at the end of the day, don't battle rap. Don't go to work. Don't get in trouble, you won't handle pre probation. So it's like mentally you gotta deal with this shit. You know what I mean? If you gonna do it. Um I guess like when you first came in, when I first heard of you joining into the battle rap world, I seen that it to me, what I seen, it seemed like a lot of people hated you, hated on you for whatever reason they had. And I feel like there was a few different things that contributed to that. One of the things was uh, whatever allegation as far as like you getting locked up. Um, there's like five, six, seven different stories that people is saying and running with and all these different things. Do you want to speak on you know, the situation involving, you know, the different rumors. Yeah, and I don't think that was never an issue. The issue was they heard me rap. They seen it was phenomenal, undeniable, and that was the reason. But you, they, they'll disguise it behind, oh, he a rapist. Oh, he's this, he's that. Without knowing... Any of the facts. What, what you see what I'm saying? If you don't know this person from a can of paint, all you know is this is what he went to jail for. I don't like that nigga. Mm -hmm. That's not realistic because how many niggas go to jail for that that's innocent? How many niggas? But we seen that shit happen to Tupac, huh? We seen that shit happen to Mike Tyson. We just seen that shit happen to the nigga Takeoff the other day. It just happened to Math Hoffa. Realistically, this shit happens all the time, bro. So it's not an outrageous situation where it's like, oh, he went to jail for what? Well, that nigga gotta have it because this is this is like a normalcy now. Mm -hmm. Bitches be lying. You, how many niggas probably dealt with a bitch that lied on them? Whether it, it might not have been to that extreme, but just lied on them to a certain extreme. You feel what I'm saying? Bitches be emotional. They do the most. You feel what I'm saying? So... With that situation, that situation is, I heard one story, and niggas said I had a gun, it was a little girl, you know what I'm saying? Weird old shit, bro. Mm -hmm. To even believe that, bro, if I had a gun and it was a little girl, I wouldn't be on the street, huh? You feel what I'm saying? That's just common sense. So, 
That shit just be a bunch of cornball shit. Well, my situation was, it was simple.